What's going on guys? I'm in Advantage and welcome to Hut Tips, a 30 day video series designed to make you a better player in NHL 22. Over the next 30 days, we'll be covering everything you need to know both on and off the ice. From team building to offensive and defensive tips, as well as other ways to improve your game. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and click like. And if you'd like to follow along for the journey, make sure you go ahead and click subscribe. Without any further ado, let's get right on into it. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to break out of the zone in NHL 22. Many players like to play aggressively on defense and get on the forecheck. Today, we're gonna to learn how to break out of the zone more effectively so you can take advantage of that to create more lanes, opportunities, and odd man rushes all leading to you scoring more goals and winning more games. Let's get into some examples and see how it works. At least a few times throughout the game, you're gonna find yourself in this situation, behind the net with multiple options. We wanna look for that player at the top of the point and we want him more specifically to break out towards the middle of the ice. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna throw a lob pass. Now, what we're gonna wait for him to do is make that cut as we can see right here, he's starting to do so as we rotate towards the left side. And that red arrow is gonna indicate where we want that lob pass to go. We're gonna make sure we get it over this defender that's going to be trying to aggressively forecheck us as we move it up the boards. So as you can see, we dump it to Duchesne. We're able to get into the zone quite easily and we're able to put it in the back of the net for a goal. So let's look at this in slow motion one more time and let's break it down. He misses on the shot. We're able to receive that puck right here behind the net. In order to get him to start cutting up, we do make that cut to the left. We make sure that we lob pass it right down the middle. And again, it's gonna take a little practice to get this down, so make sure you try it out a few times or in practice mode. And it leads to an easy odd man rush opportunity and a goal for us on the other end of the ice. Our next example is going to be the wide stretch pass. Now the player is coming down here, he misses on the breakaway. Carey Price steps up big for me. But oftentimes you find yourself in this situation. We can see the player at the top near the blue line. We want him to make that cut towards the boards. A lot of players oftentimes will force this pass when it's not available. But as you can see, he doesn't have any players against the boards right now. So we're able to get a long stretch pass off which is going to lead to a nice two on two. And we're able to work the defender and put the puck in the back of the net. Now let's look at it in slow motion. We're able to receive the puck here off the rebound after Carey Price makes that save for us. He's going to press us with his first player and that's gonna allow us a two on two. He looks like he presses us again here. Once we enter into the offensive zone, we have him on his heels and we're able to score the easy goal. Our next example is one where I want him to bite on me. So as you can see, I have the puck here in the middle of my defensive zone. I wanna to pass to that player up there on the far right side. You may have actually seen this in the last video. I want him to make that cut towards the boards and I want to send that pass up there, but I want to wait for him to make a mistake. So as he presses me, I know that's going to open up some space. I'm able to take advantage of his aggressiveness again, and we're able to put the puck into the back of the net. So looking at it in slow motion one more time here, we're able to receive that puck in our defensive zone. Rather than rushing that pass off the get-go, I'm waiting for him to bite on me. And again, we're going to take advantage of his aggressiveness here one more time when we're able to maneuver around him, get some open space, and evidently get ourselves a goal. In our next example, we're able to hit this player off the puck and we're able to receive it right here. Now, a lot of players would rush in this situation because you have a lot of options. We have the player at the top, we have the player down in our slot, and then lastly, we could stop, hit the brakes, and pass it back up along the boards to the far player on the left side. I normally wouldn't recommend passing up the middle. However, we have that open space, so we're going to take it. Now, this is all about patience. We're gonna put the brakes on him here. I can see that he wants to play aggressively on here. So he's biting on me as I know he's gonna bite. We can see that his AI is also gonna make that bite as well, which is gonna leave us an open passing lane for Stamkos cutting towards the middle. We're able to put the easy toe drag on him as I know he's playing aggressive. And we're gonna make sure that we take advantage of his mistakes. We're able to knock him off the puck here with Eichel and we're able to beat his other defender to the puck. Obviously we have a lot of options. We're gonna put the puck into open space making sure that he has no way to getting that off of us. I know he wants to take it off of me. We're able to get it here to Stamkos, make the nice toe drag, and of course, now we have a breakaway, and we're able to score the goal. This next example is one of my favorites. Now, this is the line change. This is the manual line change, however, not the automatic one. So I'm gonna come and bring the puck in the back of the zone. You can see me right here. I have plenty of open space, so I'm able to do this on the fly. I wanna make sure I get some fresh players out there. As you can see, it's the second period, so my bench is near the other side of the ice, so I'm really able to exploit this 
on this side. So I'm gonna go skate down in here, make sure I change both my offense and my defensive lines. And I'm gonna wait for them to get in the zone with me for a breakout here. So as you can see, I take it from behind the net and all four of my players are here. I'm gonna pass to this open guy on the far left side. We're gonna move the puck up the boards. And then once we get it up to him, we're gonna make that other outlet pass to the middle of the ice. So let's play this out and see what this looks like. We're gonna get it up to Stamkos. We're gonna pass it up to Hamilton. That's gonna leave Kaner pretty wide open on that side. We make a few moves. And again, it's going to lead to an easy goal. So how do you do this? Well, you either press B or X, depending on which line you're changing on Xbox Series X. Of course, the controls are gonna be slightly different on PlayStation. So I take the puck in the back. Again, I've done this before where I've messed it up and I've done it whenever there's a player on top of me. So whenever you're changing these lines, you wanna make sure that you do have that open space and you do have the time to do so. And it, there's really no harm, no foul, just taking the puck back here for just a minute in order to break out. It's very realistic. Again, it's something that you see all the time happening in real life. And again, just using my prior hockey experience, this is what I like to do. So I move the puck up to Sam Coast, move it up to Hamilton. We're gonna find it again, that open space and that passing lane over to Kaner. At the end of the day, we're able to put that puck right into the back of the net and score ourselves another easy goal. Of course, the video wouldn't be complete without one more lob pass example. This is one of my favorites, so I wanna make sure I break one more down here for you guys because it's super easy once you figure out what you're doing. As you can see here, there's really not a lot of options for me. My winger on the left is covered, as well as in the top right corner, he has his defenseman breaking in, which would be a pretty easy turnover for him on that side. I want this winger at the top left corner though to break towards that left-hand side. I'm gonna circle back around the net and wait for that to happen. Now, this is going to be manual for the most part. As I'm circling back around, I'm gonna dump that lob pass out to the left-hand side and I'm gonna manually change out to that player and beat his defenseman up the ice. So if I could change before him, I know I have a good chance of getting that puck. That's exactly what happens right here. We're able to get the puck with McKinnon and we get it over for an easy, easy one-timer. So again, this one's a little bit more involved. It's gonna take some time. It's obviously gonna take some practice. I've been doing this for quite some time now. So for me, it's pretty automatic. I don't really have to think much about it, but hopefully this breakdown does help you with these different ways to break the puck out of your zone, especially if these players are aggressively forechecking. As you can see here, that's what he does. And that's what a lot of these players are doing. And that's quite frankly what I do. It's an easy way to play defense this year is being hyper aggressive. So here's a way that you can exploit that to make sure that you're scoring more goals and winning more games. And I hope this helps you guys. That's it for me on this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you go ahead and click like. And if you'd like to follow along for more hut tips, make sure you go ahead and click subscribe. Again, I'm Main Advantage and I will see you guys next time.